right, so this is a quick live with, with Cindy. How do you actually pronounce your last name? Oh, she doesn't hear me. She's... Drinking kettle corn. <laughs> Woo! What are their names? This is Brooke. And this one over here, he's a sweetheart. His name is Buddy. Okay, and Cindy, how do you pronounce your last name? Rogerio. Rogerio. And she's with Adirondack Dreamcatcher Farm near Lake George, right? Yes. And she has um, just got this incredible pony rides business, done several festivals with us recently, and I'm going to stop talking and let her tell us about it. And then we'll go, can we go meet the ponies? Oh yeah, we can walk over and meet the ponies. I'm gonna leave the popcorn to the goats. So we've been doing pony rides all weekend at Balloon Festival, Saratoga Balloon Festival. We've been having a ball. Despite a little bit of rain yesterday, we still had a nice day. And um, so we'll walk over here. We're just cleaning up from the night, but uh, we'll walk over and meet the ponies. They're not all saddled up yet, but we've got Norman. Say hello. This is Norman. Oh, he's so beautiful. This is Norman. Oh. And he is 25 and he's not, years he's old. Not, he's not camera shy either. He didn't seem oh, to shy away from Oh, he's not camera shy at all. No, these guys love the camera. And then over here, this is Apache. Apache has gorgeous blue eyes. I was just going to say, look see at that. those eyes. Oh, he's getting ready to <laughs> getting ready to work. And then scoop around this way. Okay. And we'll say hello to Sundancer. Sundancer, come here. Oh, there he is. And this old boy is Sundancer. We've had him for a long time. He is 25 years old as well. And all these guys love doing what they're doing. So and tell us about what they do here. What they do. Well, they put smiles on people's faces is what they do. So um, Adirondack Dream Catcher Farm is um, pony rides and farm animals that I bring, and they're horses, but I bring to people's homes for birthday parties. And um, I actually got my start, I have to say this, I got my start when I was just a little girl. My mom used to invite the first grader, the kindergartners and the first graders to a day at the farm through four siblings. And when I was about eight years old, my job was to give my classmates pony rides. And my sister brought them into the chicken coop to collect the eggs and one brother helped them milk the cow and another brother helped them uh, you know chase pigs and things like that and uh, so um, that's where I got my start I always knew that I wanted to raise my own kids on a farm like that and once I started collecting animals I had to figure out a way for them to pay for themselves so well, that's what where... I what I notice is how good you are with the uh, with the little people, not just the not just the the horse the horse people, but the, the actual children children. Yeah. Well, because they they don't look nervous or scared when they're when they're riding with you. Yeah. So. When you know sometimes we get some that are, and it 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 makes my heart sing when I get a young child that is terrified to go on the horse or near the horse, and next thing you know, they're they're on. Yesterday at the festival, or Friday, um, here at the festival, a little boy came up and he was screaming. He did not want anything to do with the horses. And then they came back later on and I talked to him a little bit and up he jumped onto the horse and we could barely get him off. <laughs> so, woo, everybody look at this. Yes, yeah, so this We got is a car great show. car show coming in today. No, I've been enjoying watching these guys go around, but I just want to say I have been doing this as a business my entire life, and uh, I love what I do. I love... Um, now, you have a group of also younger uh, people that, that work with you that you seem to mentor along the way with this as well. Are they also people who, are, who have horses at home and things like that? Or? Actually... I have my young Lizzie, who I used to teach gymnastics to, and uh, through twists and turns of fate, I am um, in a relationship with her dad's best friend. And uh, uh, last so we year, get the real scoop now. Yeah, huh? last year during the COVID, I I um, turned my mortgage of my home and farm over to my daughter and son-in-law and grandchild. I am now the proud grandma of Trip uh, twins. Uh, they're two months old, twin baby, boy and a girl, 
And so they have the farm and I needed to move my the portion that I take on the road with me closer. So my young friend Lizzie, her dreams came true. There she is. Goes. Lizzie's not gonna come on. Okay. No, she's, she's not. Yeah, she's okay. camera shy. Okay. All right. Um, that but her dreams good. came true. She's been begging her family for um, horses, and when uh, I hadn't seen her in years, uh, and then I got together with Tim, and um, now um, my farm is now at her home. So that made her dreams come true, and this great gentleman over here is he camera shy too yeah this is christopher and he is the older brother to one of my first helpers his younger sister bonnie um i was teaching her sister gymnastics and i was coming to this festival the first year that it was happening and i was teaching gymnastics and i was telling all the parents after this class everybody needs to Clear, clear out fast because I have to get to the Saratoga Balloon Festival and um, their mom looked at me and said oh my goodness my older daughter would absolutely love to help you so uh, I said if you can get her here by the end of class I would love to have her come and I had another event to go do another birthday party you stop getting in there another birthday party and um, so I dropped Bonnie off with my daughter Jessie at here at the balloon festival and um, I told Jesse I said teach her everything you know and I had Bonnie working with me for a long time and uh, then her uh, younger sister Bree started working for me but sadly she broke her collarbone the other day and she can't be with us uh, for the rest of the season but her brother Christopher is knocked down fantastic Help, okay, so. so just for the public when they come today, the, you're right at the entrance as people walk in. Yeah. And what uh, what does it cost for... for? So we're doing, and this is favorable by everyone, this sort of, sort of melded into my business. I had to raise my prices a little bit um, due to gas prices and everything. Hey, mm -hmm. and everything's escalating up. So instead of $5 a pony ride, I raised it to $1 lap around for eight dollars or you can do a double turn for ten for just two dollars more and I have to tell you everybody just says oh we're gonna do the double we're gonna do the double so if you've got two kids it's twenty dollars and oh my gosh and we, you know we we take time to get them used to the horses and pet the horses mm -hmm. and, and has this been a good spot where you are located? This, this spot is good I like being under the pavilion better because then they're right. they're shaded but, but the pavilion got uh, out of rain. they um they put a, a cement floor on it oh, that's, so that's the reason happened. yeah that's yeah what yeah because okay. that you you wouldn't know you you didn't want them to right to walk on the cement yeah all day. so yeah but yeah. anyway it's it's wonderful and uh we had a good couple of days despite the rain yesterday i was happy to see a lot of people still come Coming in and even for the moon glow later on after the rain that people were pouring in great, so I, I thanked everybody for coming out just well thank you for being here and we look forward to continuing to work with you and uh, hope all the now what what is the age limit for somebody that can take a, mm -hmm. a ride well we have had as young as six month olds uh -huh. and the parents just walk alongside and uh -huh. hold on to them and the kids are just <laughs> Even at that that age, they're just oh my goodness, um, and all the way up to uh, oh in Bennington, there is a gal that I like to refer to as the cow lady. You know who I'm talking about. Um, so um, we're listening. I'm just getting she. I would put side. at about eighty. Real? Oh, so there isn't a, a, a limit. I, I don't think I realize that. So if I wanted to do one, I You could. can jump on, yeah. It's more a weight limit than an age limit. Yeah. If you're, and I'll tell you, we have gotten uh, kids with one leg up on the horse. We have. At Crandall Park this year. And um, so I do a lot of work with kids with autism and I do, you know, um, 
birthday parties and uh, everybody's different you know and so. it's adirondack dream catcher farm and you are your information is listed on facebook yeah, on face adirondack dream catcher farm yes and i'm still booking parties uh this three days after today i'm going to the fond affair i'll be at the set up at the fond affair uh till labor day and i do a lot of uh moose hill at campground I'm always at Moose Hill Campground about five five times a year. I will be there on Sunday, this coming weekend, at 10 to 12, and also Columbus Day weekend. So nice. I'll be up in uh, um, Moose Hill Campground. And I'm doing West Mountain Fall Festival, two weekends, Columbus Day weekend and the weekend after. So Great. All right. Well, it's been great uh, seeing you this year as we try to get uh, these shows going again after being shut down completely last year ah oh, we're not you know a hundred percent yet but we're getting there and we're doing our best so well i think that everybody's just so happy to be out and about and you know you see some people wearing masks and some people not and you know it's everybody's choice and mm -hmm. i just i think overall everybody's just being happy to be back out yeah, and we're full, in the we're, community yeah we're fully outdoors so. here so it makes me feel safer but yeah well thank you so much Great. and uh, well, i'm gonna well, sign well. off now and let you get ready for all of your customers coming in when and by they the open way i got this shirt from one of the vendors here and oh great who was that from um i don't know it's uh one of the vendors okay. <laughs> you gotta come to the festival to find right. them <laughs> okay great thank you